Hello world, this is What's Up 2190, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a bootable USB of pretty much any hard drive out of pretty much any operating system out there. This will work for any, for creating a USB of any version of Windows or, Li or Linux, but uh, with Mac OS X it's a little iffy, it might not be that great. Because Mac OS X is a very strict uh, hardware software architecture. So what you're going to want to do is go to, if you're on a Windows computer, what you want to do is go to this URL here and download Universal USB Installer. If you're on a Mac, go to this URL here and download it. I'll have both of these links in the description. So once you've got it downloaded, just click download here, give this website a read. run it with agree and then we, you've got several steps there's now one thing that you're going to need is actually a USB flash drive with at least eight gigabytes on it preferably more than that though because you know if you're going to be saving files to it and all that you want it to have a lot more than that so what you're going to want so if you have an IS so first things first what you're going to want to do either is, cut, is select the version of Linux or Windows that you're going to want to be installing from here. Click check here. And uh, they've got basically every single operating system or recovery partition out there except Mac OS X on here. So if you want to install Ubuntu Linux, just type in Ubuntu. And there you go. And check download link. And if you don't... Sorry, if you don't have the ISO for whatever version of a whatever version of an operating system you're installing to your USB on your computer, then what you want to do is just check download link, and in your browser this will open the link to download whatever operating system you have, operating system that you're downloading. So. Gonna download the Ubuntu Linux ISO just to, to install my USB to show you guys. And uh, yeah, so that's downloading the ISO for me. And once, and I'm gonna show you this right now. If you already have the ISO on your computer, then just then what you want to do is just is just once you've selected the version of a. Once you've selected the version of uh, whatever operating system you're installing here, just come down here and click Browse, and then browse to the ISO and select it in this in this uh, in your computer's uh, finder. Click Open. If you're trying to install Mac OS X, it may not work on Windows computers because Mac OS X is a very uh, it may not work on that may only work. On Apple computers because Mac OS X is a very a Apple hardware reliant operating system so just keep that in mind but if, if you want to try it to see if it works which I can't guarantee that it will because of what I just said then just try clicking try unlisted Linux U ISO at the bottom and then browsing to the Mac OS X ISO file on your computer using that at using that browse option I just showed you, or if you're trying to install Windows, what you're going to want to do is just select the Windows 10 installer, and then browse to your Windows 10 ISO. Sorry, I might have been a bit confusing earlier. You can download basically any version of Linux from here, but it doesn't download either Mac OS X or Windows for you. Yet. If, you're download if you're trying to create USB for either Mac or Windows, then just you're going to have to download the ISO and browse to it manually. So let's see, so I'm going to pause the video up until my, uh, so what you want to do next is, sorry, so, what, uh, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to pause the video until it's done downloading my Ubuntu Linux ISO and catch up with the guys when it's finished. When I 
have that file. Once you've gotten your ISO or whatever operating system you're installing, or what you're going to want to do is just browse to it from here, then select it, and then if you're, and then come down here and check your and check your USB drive. If it doesn't show up, what you want to do is check all show all drives. But if you have to do this, make absolutely sure that you're checking your USB drive. Otherwise, because if you check like this, your computer's hard drive, you could potentially wipe your accidentally wipe your hard drive and have to start your hard drive from scratch and scratch, and that's not fun. So definitely make sure that you're selecting your USB drive. And then check format, because that will make sure that your drive is formatted as a, uh, as a, as one that can be recognized as a, uh, as a bootable USB. I believe with Macs, it has to be formatted as GUID though. So if, so if the Mac version doesn't have the option to format it as GUID, what you, what you might actually want to do is use Disk Utility. So I can't really show you this, but what you might want to try doing is you, is using Disk Utility on Mac OS X to format your USB drive as GUID. Then after that, don't check this option. That is if, don't check the format option after that. And that is because, and, and that is only if the Mac version doesn't have the option to format as GUID. So keep that in mind. Sorry if I'm getting a bit too technical here, but I'm being as simple as I can. For, you can probably just ignore this one, to be honest with you. If you really want to try and mess with it, then go ahead. But I'm going to go ahead and set it to maximum, just in case. And I'm going to click create. Once you've, uh, just click yes here and it will now install whatever operating system you have onto that, onto your, your, whatever operating system you selected for it to install onto your USB drive. And this might potentially take a while for it to do, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, once it's done, that's pretty much it. You have, once it's done, without, if it completes without any errors, you have successfully installed Linux or Windows onto your, or whatever operating system you're trying to install onto that USB drive. And you can now, you should now essentially be able to take that USB drive somewhere, plug it into the computer and be able to boot it, to boot that operating system remotely from that computer. But again, here's a, pro, here's a con from just running virtual machines is that not all computer hardware might will, might be able to run, might be compatible with this method of running other operating systems. Whereas virtual machines will emulate the other computer's hardware for you, especially with virtual machine software like, a, um, like a, um, what's, it, what's it called, VirtualBox, VMware Workstation, and Parallels Desktop. Those programs will actually emulate, when running the virtual machine, those programs will actually emulate the, uh, the, uh, the, that operating system's hardware for you, but, uh, um, this might not work. This is just taking an operating system and running it directly off of a USB, and I'm just warning you right now that not all computer hardware might be compatible with that. So that's really about it. All I have to say now is that while well, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And that's really about it. This is What's Up 2190 Fleet Hacker, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. You might be wondering, how do I boot into this USB drive? Well, what you're going to have to do is Google search how to boot into a USB drive onto your, onto your, uh, on your brand and model of computer. Because it, it differs, how to do that exactly 
differs from exact differs from depending on what brand and what model of computer you're using. On Dell, what all you should have to do is just shut your computer down and then press F12 to, when starting it back up and it should give you the option to boot into your USB and it should give you the option to boot from your USB drive. On Max, what you all you should have to do is just press I think F2 when starting the computer up and it should come up with the with the with the uh, window with the with your bootable drive as long as it's formatted correctly. Now what should correctly. But again that varies from computer to computer. So what you're gonna to want to do is Google search your computer model and how to boot from a USB drive based on your machine. That's about it. This is What's Up 2190 and I'm signing off. Have a nice day.